Hello everybody, welcome to another gameplay of Monarch. Last time we played, we beat in our first ideal of Wrath. And uh, the dude's fully insane and I could kind of understand. At least his thing is more understandable than Kuruma. <laughs> I say Kuruma thing, oh, that's probably just from too long. Anyways, might as well talk to these guys. Yo. Hey, things seem to be going pretty well with Kokoro. What do you mean by that? I always thought she was this impossible to please genius. But she's actually pretty kind and laid back. Well, I... I it should make sense. She made a deal with Sloth. Not to mention strange. I don't know if I buy all that stuff about her being safe and secure. Huh? Oh, right. I've been looking into the first years. And apparently, they've got a serious bullying problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we couldn't tell because of someone who wants to go on a murdering rampage and murdering all his bullies. Yeah, there's no sign of bullying over there. An entire class ganged up on one person, pulling prank after prank and spreading rumors. Yeah, it's not that bad. There was some violence too, I heard. Even a case of blackmail. All right, never mind. Never mind. I did not expect the blackmail and the violence. I would say prank after prank and rumors. Eh, they're bad, don't get me wrong, but like, at least you could ignore that, but once it goes to this point, oh, oh a no. A student from another class got fed up and told a teacher about it. Nice. But the thing is, the victim denied being bullied in the first place. What? So officially, nothing was ever recorded. But after that, the bullying just ended up getting even worse. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Why would anyone ever protect the people harassing them? That's a good question. To be honest, I don't have any hard evidence for this. Just but if it really is true. Gosh, have you ever heard anything so sad? PTSD, I guess, for the person trying to protect them. Because, yeah, that doesn't make sense either. Like, I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, it's kind of true. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> How do you feel about fictional fables? I that? thought we could have your desires unfurled through a fairy tale told in a fantasy world. Dude, you are a fantasy world. What, what are you An talking about? An ingenious idea, isn't it? In medieval Europe where we lay our scene, you serve as a knight for your king and queen. The castle is holding a banquet of sorts for the noblemen, knights, and royal courts. I'm confused, Fanitis, where he's trying to lead us Your through. uncle, a duke, says the banquet was planned to decide who will take the fair princess's hand. Choose wisely in this trial by fire, for through them you'll lay bare your desire. What? The princess is perfect, attractive, and kind. In secret, for her heart, you've always pined. What would you do? What would you say? Would you try proposing to her right away? Um... Uh, the princess... Your talk to the uncle first. Says you'll need to prove to the king that you're worthy to offer his daughter a ring. He says one thinks best after having a bite. Do you go for a meal and accept his invite? Uh... He said one thing... Best after I'm gonna bite you. Oh, get the meal. After muttering over your rash disposition, your uncle, the Duke, offers two propositions. Um, rank of military is not Set by an armed group in black. A guard shouts a traitor, let them in through the back. The enemy has you all under duress. How will you act in the face of this mess? Uh, the enemy storms in with no end in sight. His majesty's wounded and seized in the fight. The princess's aides struggle hard to defend her. You must act with haste before they surrender. Uh, let the princess die. I, I don't know. Cause, I don't know which one is sloth, though. So like, not, these are mostly like... Um, I 
don't think that's very helpful. You manage to flee the soldiers. The princess follows suit. She leads you to the royal family's secret escape route. A mystic arcane circle keeps the entrance tight and sealed. You must speak the magic numbers. Only then will it yield. Uh, let's see. One. One eight seven five two nine four. So we're missing six three, I guess, because, yeah. You run down the passage to avoid getting caught when the princess suddenly stops on the spot. Carrying the royal scepter is slowing her pace. She's trying to abandon it with grief on her face. And she would die. That's At the what end the of the hell? passage, a cavern is found. The princess runs forward, then falls to the ground. In moments, she's wrapped in a cocoon of silky thread. Strands of it are stringing from a woman up ahead. I want to see what's going on. She calls herself Arachne. She claims she is a friend. She bids you listen to her. But what do you intend? Pick her up on As it. promised in our ancient oath, I'll show you two outside. She then turns into a giant spider and gives you both a ride. You reach a gate that opens once you speak the secret words. Arrange the letters on it to deduce what must be heard. Uh, the devil sees not 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 ease. Let's see. The naughty is needless. The devil sees naughty. The seven deadly sins. That that's why it's the seven deadly sins. You both escape into the gate with no time left to spare. The royal army finds you two and puts you in their care. Your deeds impress the princess, earning you her admiration. You marry her and in the end, help reinst- Cool. <laughs> well, yeah. isn't that lovely? You took the best path. The questions this time were designed around wrath. But the wrath you exhibited during this tale was not quite the maximum point of the scale. Doesn't matter, I got slot, baby. There's a reason you got the perfect path with a less than perfect desire for wrath. The single factor that won you the prize was a power that you chose to utilize. Desires and feelings give egos their form. Their powers grant shelter against any storm. But depending on them and nothing more does not guarantee a good future in store. I'm confused about that hotel. So like, what's the point is to bring more of my wrath One out? One must know when to use them or keep them at bay. And that power is precisely what you've shown today. <laughs> you wish to know what I actually mean? We'll save that talk for another scene. Okay, crazy. What, what was the whole point about the story, but... Whatever. All right, let's talk. It is my desire to avoid hurting others, as well as being hurt by anyone else. I wish right. for a future of idle peace, where I can live in safety and security. Are you the one who was bullied and he told the teacher? Is that what happened? Subaru's wish differs greatly from mine. I cannot overlook the way he hurts others for his own self-interest. You, however are exactly the sense of security I prefer. Okay, I have a cool. high opinion of you so far, but it would be even higher if you brought me some yakisoba bread. <laughs> I do, actually, no. What? It would be more accurate to say I adore it. Oh. It is carbohydrates incarnate, a morsel of delectability born from the amalgamation of mankind's intellect. Oh boy, someone's really loved that bread, doesn't Yaki she? Soba bread and books are all I need. Who, who likes the bread you do? Who likes the bread you do? As my cat just like pet her, train her like a cat. <laughs> a modest young woman such as myself could want for nothing more. No, stop it! I'm not a cat! <laughs> Alright. Is that really all the... I'm confused. Am I supposed to get her bread? Right? Is that the whole point? Oh, what? What's over there? Oh. Be hurting. Be branding. Look here my insanity. Man, that was so hard from the last map. 
I don't know. I, it makes me kind of feel you stupid. Kind of pale. Yes, heal me, man. You're good to go. Don't push yourself too hard now. I make no promises. All right, now go back to that first store room or whatever. I don't know, like, is there anything I can give her a bread or is that just like random chit chat? <laughs> Welcome back, Kokoro. Why does that look so well with the head? <laughs> I guess they were right. Sometimes it takes the best, takes, takes the guy to become the best girl. <laughs> What the hell? Why does that model look match so well with his face? With his face structure. It's so funny. <laughs> oh. It's so good to see you. But as you can see, I'm a little busy right now. Who, do, who are you possessing? Are you pissing, um, Miki? I think her name it is. Yeah, she kind of deserves it. She's, she was kind of a bitch and not telling us everything. These Bimbos here are flipping out. <laughs> Come now. What did you just call us? Why wouldn't we be flipping out? How long are you gonna keep us like this? Come on, Subaru. We're begging you. Just let us go. Guys, it's okay. We're here to save the day. That's uh, you might want to stay away from him. We didn't even do anything. Oh. Didn't you? Oh, time to spill the beans. You all made fun of me. You all pitied me. Oh boy. And the worst part? You didn't do anything. Uh, I must say, they pitied him and they didn't do anything. That's kind of like sucky. So that thing, I I can at least say, like I said, Kuroma excuse was stupid. I'm sorry, it was. I didn't feel like it was like enough backstory of why, at least for a Subaru. Kind of makes sense. He was bullied and nobody helps him, so it, I can kind of see his point of view here. Don't get me wrong. Well, it's not like Kokoro's any different. Like, like, like I said, don't don't get me wrong. Him murdering people is like full on wrong. But the other thing too, like if what they say is true about the bullying and it went like worse and worse to the point where like the dude wants to do suicide, and then eventually he gets this ultimate power to out of nowhere that he could kill people I can see why he abused it <laughs> and oh boy yeah shift to blame right she didn't do anything either so why she's so special but we get locked up it's totally unfair <laughs> human garbage like you on the same level as Kokoro uh -oh, someone's obsessed with her oh shit. what a goddamn joke Oh God, run. I was the outcast. So you all mocked me, felt sorry for me, or didn't care. Kokoro was the only one who didn't judge me. Uh. She's indifferent toward everything and equally detached from everyone. She didn't treat me any different. She was never unfair. Not in the slightest. You know, he has a point. She is kind of detached from everybody. But, but I was the one that told the teachers about you. I was the one that... Oh, did she actually try to help him? That you were being bullied. That you needed help. I felt bad for you. Okay. Yeah, the dude is fully, fully a cycle. I don't want your pity! Yeah, I do fall on a cycle. Never mind. I changed my mind. I really expected it was someone who, who told Kokoro Koru was game bully or Koru was the one bully and he's the one who told her. Told the teacher. I didn't know it was her. But yeah, dude, it's full on cycle now. Why and like they said, this leads to the question, why is he obsessed with her? Ah. <laughs> that was so lame. Ah. I wasn't even scared at all. So it was you, huh? Oh god. Me? Bullied? No freaking way. Like something so humiliating would ever happen to me. 
No one has any reason to feel bad for me. Oh god, yeah, dude is slowly a loose screw. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I won't try to escape anymore. Please don't kill me. Kokoro, I was never bullied, okay? They were all just fights. That's it. What the hell? As you say, but that aside, they are saying they won't try to run away. Don't you think you should forgive them? <laughs> you never change, Kokoro. What is wrong with you? Just hearing your voice calms me down. Gets rid of all the buzzing in my head. I'm afraid he's not targeting the main character because he's right next to her. I, I really expect him like, oh, is you... Oh, you're so next to her. All I want is revenge, okay? What goes around comes around. It's not like I'm just spilling blood for fun. I don't know, man. And don't worry. I'm not the kind of guy who gets a kick out of hurting girls. Even if they are rotten to the core. Like them. Oh. Whoa. See you around, Kokoro. Hey, who... All right, so he could possess. That's all right. It is getting weirder, huh? I, I, I want to know more of his backstory. Hey, wait, is this open? Yeah, no way. I've already been here, right? Yeah, it's it's a teach. This Susie see me this upset. There ain't no panicking too. What would Mr. Susie say at a time like this? Nah, I need to get a hold of myself, probably. Thank you, Mr. Susia. You can just your memory is enough for me to pull through. I wonder if we're going to meet him. We probably are. Once he's dead. After all. If this place don't, don't hold punches for murder. Oh, that, that art girl is gone. Hmm. I wonder if she's the one that we saw in... The body he possessed, probably. But, yeah, I want to know more. Uh, are you guys still over here? No. You guys upstairs. What are you? You guys have anything to say? Anything new? Takashi is still missing. But that doesn't mean we're just going to buckle down and give up. We're making it through this mess alive. Anomalies or not, the fate of Eastport depends on it. All right. Where? Where could Takashi have gone? We come just about every place to miss. Oh boy. Ooh, wait. What? Wait, what? 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 Alright. Oh, I need another psychological test, sorry. Just miss up on a test at your part time job. How will you prefer to be a man? My work is like going away. I mean, do it. Didn't totally redo it. All right, what's the best way for sloth? Right? No, that's wrath. <laughs> that's just gonna get me pissed off. Pure anger. All right. I would like to meet up with Hidefumi and Miki. Their behavior concerns me. Yeah, I got questions for them. By the way, I never meant to come across as indifferent or detached. <laughs> it wasn't that I was indifferent. I simply didn't have the extra time to pay attention to what was happening in the other classes. And it wasn't that I was being detached. I simply didn't know how to interact with others. I was alone. I can't blame her after all. She did make it all the way to college at a young age. He doesn't understand me in the least. Say, so are you upset? You know they're like it the same shit. It's a similar feeling, I suppose, but different in some respect. It is very unpleasant, either way. Well, I want to. Don't worry. 
After we're done with him, he's gonna go into coma. That's like Rama. Alright. Again, what, what are these for? Oh, hey. I must say, hey, you're the art student. Huh. Alright, let's see. Where's the stupid, uh, pres- The stupid presidents and all that. You're up here. Sumo man. I can't kind of get where Subaru is coming from. I mean, people bully me too. Just because I haven't been a sumo wrestling exorcist. What Subaru is doing is awful. But I can't say it isn't justified. But I say, can't, like, like I said, I can't blame the dude. Again, at least his excuse is much better than Kuroma's. Kuroma, this Kuroma idea was stupid. This, oh my god. Using my. <laughs> Whoops, sorry about that. Bronco Fit, alright, cheerful tripper, yeah, yeah. Where, where are you gonna go insane or something? Yeah. I know the science club made the right car, but Drew is she crossing the line here, present or not? The rest of the club out gathering samples while he sits back in total safety. He's not my presence, that's for sure. I'm with you, Hidetaka. There's just no defending it. Maybe we should just look for the missing member inside the mess ourselves. Uh, no, you guys shouldn't. Trust me. You guys be fucked. Hey, losers. So can you guys do something about Subaru's curse or what? Damn. Calm down. Uh, if you could tell, at least the first floor, it takes time. Yes, we have found a clue as to our solution. Then hurry up and break it already. Oh my god, but I, again, if I was a white haired dude, if I was in there, I'd be like, no. You know what? I'm going to wait until you die. Well, that. lives are on the line here. Selfish. Seriously, just because you two aren't in danger doesn't mean you can slack off. Get your butts in gear! Yeah, I will definitely slack off. My apologies. We will do what we can. You'll do what you can? Are you trying to get your ass kicked? Not in particular. I have not said anything with the intention of starting a fight. Bullshit! Calm down, Hidefumi! You know what Subaru will do if you hurt <laughs> Yeah, well, Drago the main character cat, sure he would do something. You even get what's going on, Mr. Vice Prez? We're the poor little victims here. No, you're not. You guys call yourselves the true student council. Shouldn't you be making more of an effort to help us? God, I really want to punch him. I really want to punch him. Wow! <laughs> Victims. Ooh. What? Hey, you're hurting, you motherfucker. Think big words make you smart? Sounds to me like you're trying to say we were bullying Subaru. It ain't like that. That loser was always by himself. We were just giving him some attention so he wouldn't be lonely. God, I really want to punch him. So what if we had a few fights? Sometimes we didn't get along. Like I said, I really want to punch this man right now. God, what is up with all the students in this school? Are they all like assholes or what? <laughs> like, first we got like Kurumas and the people who are in that school in the third years were, were kind of insane, sort of, because three had one dude was obsessed with the girl. I need to check the name again because uh, bad names. With, I'm bad of a name sometimes. And then plus Kuruma who has like a god complex. And then now we have these people who just try out like are straight out fine. Like everybody was fine bullying on a person. Go ask Subaru himself if you don't believe me. Dude, shut I'll up. Be the first to tell you he wasn't being bullied. Of course he won't. But more importantly. 
Make sure to protect us, Mr. Big Bad Vice Prez. Uh, again, like I'll punch I him. said, we're the victims here. Sure. God. I really want to punch the guy. Punch the girl too. Equality, man. Ah. Uh. God, what is over to school under kids? I don't even want to talk to you. Fuck you guys. Like, really? Like I said, you guys deserved it. Right then. Let us do what we can. Nah, I'd rather just sit around and let them What's die. What's wrong? Was it something I said? <laughs> Barbie, yeah. Barbie's like, why help? Yeah. Naturally, because I don't want to see other people get hurt. My ego is a simple one. If Subaru was being hurt, and I knew, I would not have been so indifferent about it. Or so I think. Hmm. I am short-sighted both literally and figuratively. My personality is lacking, and I am not a people person. Kind of makes anyway sloth with cheesy you now. Cause yeah, if you're tray forward and you really are like slacking like this, then it kind of makes me, it kind of makes sense why you're is slop. I can see it. See, like the two characters here, but their sense like Kokoro here with sloth, and then Subaru with a uh, wrath, makes sense because again, you know wrath, his whole anger against the people bullied him. And I love how dude's like, oh well, we're just fighting. Now, how come he's targeting you guys? <laughs> and her slothness. But if you go again, if you go to Kuruma with his like pride, you don't see pride really. You see envy. Again, I really expect his envy is to be his, you know, his, his uh, pack. But it's pride, which is kind of weird. If only I could isolate myself such that no one would get hurt. But unless I am the only person in the world, it simply isn't possible. It's fine. After we save them, I'm just gonna punch both of them. But I digress. We should continue exploring. Remember to do what you can. Got it. Like I said, don't worry, after we're done, I'm punching both of them. I don't give a damn. Oh, we don't need to worry about the evil calls. Alright. I'm a wall. No one can find me. Find me, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Like a cycle. Alright. Oh wait. Wait, 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 this, this feels like it's for it. Oh, running a hall is on principle expressly prohibited. If only one were to trip and fall, somebody could get hurt. Not that I, I taught her a lesson. She's sure to never run again. Oh, what I get for. oh my God. Do not open. All right, another cool Danny. Fine. But, oh my God. Hey, is anyone there? The door's locked. I can't get out. Please help. What happened? I was disciplining some students when somebody locked the classroom door from outside. Mark my words. Whoever's, but I can't do that from in here. So go find that key. What do you mean? Okay. What a weird, weird place to do. You can't like, okay. Mr. Komukai, what are you doing? Okay. All right. Got it. I know where to go. I need to figure out how to open that thing. <laughs> That's gonna mess up though. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, that would teach her how to break the rules. You lousy bitch. <laughs> it's all I'm imagining. He just like menacing laughing while he trips her. With him. Oh wait, there's something wrong with him. 3258. What is it? 3258. 3258. Oh! Oh! 
Wow, that's way much easier than the last one, I think, because it's this 3258. That has to be it, right? Unless it's a trap. <laughs> I, I mean, that, that would suck if that was a trap. I open it. Turns out it was like a... The key isn't even in there. It's just a bomb triggered. Hey, is it the doors, please? Oh, wrong I was just Mark, but I can't. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wait. Give me a minute, sir. I figure out the code. Three, two, five, eight. Two, five, eight. Yeah. This should be the key, right? Yep. All right. Here you go, boss. I don't know what kind of school hey, <laughs> makes the door unlock the other way out. Locked? You really saved me. Thank you. Oh my god, I thought you, you would look younger. Mm. Your hair and dress are... non-regulation. But I'll leave you with a warning this time. <laughs> if I catch you again, though, I'll write you up. Understand? I, I think my hair's natural color, sir. I'm too many for, I, I do think he's part demon, so... He might have a point. <laughs> Alright, wait. What? Hey, Chris. Oh my god, I was right. I didn't even raise myself. Hey, what's this? Bringing ex gentle material to class is on principle. Express prohibit. Full body cavity search. Conducted to check for further co contraband. What do you mean, full body cavity search? Oh no. <laughs> what is this? Freaking. When you get caught with drugs. Sorry, sir. We need to check your ass. What? As he brings up some rubber glove, <laughs> after which all garbage have been appropriately disposed of. Okay, what the hell? Alright, well, let's fight. <laughs> brings out the glove. Sorry, sir. We need a check. What do you mean, cavity check? Oh my god. <laughs> the second ideal. I'm not gonna lie, this idea was easier to find in the first one. Yeah. After shattering this one, you will be two thirds of the way done. Yep. Our probability of victory is very high, assuming the demons are roughly the same level as those before. Probably. Oh? Wait, what do you mean? That would be troublesome. I must recalculate. What's over that reaction? I only know the monarch I made my pact with, but he seemed quite powerful. I would prefer not to fight against that kind of strength. I cannot force him to fight alongside me. To make for our monarch really does it help us. Even if we did have a cooperative relationship. I would have no direct control over him. My monarch is very lazy. He does what he wants and nothing else. He refuses to so much as show up unless the situation demands it. If the same applies to all monarchs, then I am certain they would only appear if the circumstances were dire. If their ideals were shattered and their pact were on the verge of being broken, for example. Yep. Exactly the enemies I anticipated. A relieving sight, to be sure. Now then, let us do what we can. Alright, time to fight. Bench. Yeah, it makes sense. Sloth for sloth. Alright, let's go. Time to murder. Let's go, Kokoro. Here I go. Commencing. Ooh, ooh, 
behind you. I'm with you. I won't kill you. A double hit. Yeah, training. eat it. Good job, genius. Uh, this was easier fight too. What the heck? The other one took like forever. There we go. Well done, Kokoro. I feel like I his health was going low. Hurt. Oh, we didn't we didn't take his gun. Yeah, so the sloth girl. Finally. Finally. Yeah, I need to grow my sloth. Show me your true self. I wish I were invisible. Then I wouldn't have to worry about getting hit by those jerks. Yeah, kind of figures. Yeah, he was bullied. Or anyone looking at me with pity in their eyes. Except for that part. I want power beyond all reason. Like lightning. Then I could obliterate anyone who pissed me off on the spot. I want to just exist with nothing but my eyes and my soul. I want to be at peace. To only look at that which is pure. Like her. And her alone. Forever and ever. Oh boy. Her? 
Yeah, he's talking about you, lady. Kokoro. Congratulations, you have a stalker? <laughs> oh. You always seem so busy, Nozomi. I hope Dr. Shiro Neko returns to the infirmary soon. You about to say who? Right. I guess you would have forgotten her. Uh, she helps uh, out Dr. Kakeru from time to time. She's beautiful, kind, and always down to earth. Hmm. Like I said, we don't know who Yorzuru really is. And like I said, I feel like that doctor snuck in here still. From what we read from the pages. So I'm wondering that's her real form She went at to the check end. on another building, but she hasn't come back yet. Again, I'd be wrong. I assume it's because Kurama blocked off access between them. But wherever <laughs> she is, I'm sure everyone is relying on her to get them through this. Which reminds me, Dr. Shironeko brought the student in the back of the infirmary over from another building. Oh, uh, yep. Yep, that confirms it. So that means that other body in that bed has to be a uh, super real body since I couldn't find it. I have a question. What yeah. happens to a packed bear whose ideals are shattered? I see. It is only logical that it affects the mind if one's ideals are shattered. I am relieved to know it will not result in death. I am relieved to know it. Though, of course. Subaru is already dead. If we break his pact, his entire existence could be extinguished. Destroying someone's soul is essentially the same as killing them in a spiritual sense. We should yep. keep that in mind. This is not something we can go about lightly. Oh, yeah, I don't really feel guilty. Like, once you start murdering people, that when the guiltiness get out of the way. I need to heal, bro. You seem kind of pale. You're good to go. Here's some medicine. Take it. Crossy. Don't push yourself too hard now. Uh, no more. I know that's you. Mistakes. I know that's you. Don't hide from me. Yeah, so that, yeah, that kind of proves it. That means that body in that bed is Subaru. Or at least his dead body if he is actually dead. Which, I'm sure he's not. I I don't think so. Or he, actually no, he could because we, they're not holding punches back with murdering people. <laughs> like, the first years have been worse than the third year, that's for, that's for sure. Like, they got massacred to the bone. Please let it be Mickey and the other dude. Please let them Are they dead? Or, no. No, they're not. Damn it. I was hoping. Does it still look misty? No. I'll, I'll, it, it is what I, I was wearing too right now. I want to look misty up there. Wait, can I go in? Oh, no, the star room. All right, let go upstairs. I'm just wondering what that's for. Oh, what the hell? Yo, welcome to this girl. Takashi's still missing, but that doesn't mean we're going to be buckling down and giving up. We're making through the missing alive. Anomalies or not, the fate of Eastport depends on it. All right, well, welcome to the girl. Another one? Fine. When you're buying something, what do you decide? My guts. How's that greed? What? How? What is this? How the hell is guts? Going by my guts is greed. Oh, we go in here now. 
Or maybe this always been open. I, I don't know anymore. I think I'm just getting more confused as a... Yeah, I think that's been open. <laughs> no, all right. Going upstairs. I know. I don't know what to that chick over there, but... She's probably dead. Ooh, is this where we see them dead? Reeks of blood. Oh, 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 does that mean they died? I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> no way. Eh, he was a dick, anyways. For my sins. Yeah, I did it. You listening, Subaru? I, I killed Hidefumi for you. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny that he did not. De he kind of deserved it. But so murder is murder. <laughs> For my sins, I killed my friend just for you. <laughs> and oh my God, so forgive me. What? Please forgive me. Please don't kill me. I don't. I don't want to die. So please, I beg. Fine. I won't kill you the way I did everyone else. Huh? Instead, I'll torture you to death little by little, bit by bit, until every last fiber of your being suffers. Oh my god. B but why? You really don't have much going on up there, do you? Single celled organisms like you are so tiresome. Look who's talking. I'm not gonna like like I said, I feel bad for him, but like this is just going beyond far. Oh my god. Why the hell would I be happy you killed Hidefumi? You stole my chance at revenge! And here I was, so looking forward to thanking him for pushing me out that window. Oh. Cruel. Isn't it? I'm a rational guy, you know. I wouldn't resort to senseless slaughter without a good reason. Whoa. Hey, Yasunori, remind me again. What did you guys do when I begged you not to kill me? Mm -hmm. You ignored me and did it anyway, didn't you? Whoa, what the hell? Your eyes were so wild with excitement. You were mocking me with your laughter. I remember it all. This is my revenge. What goes around comes around. There's no way I'll forgive you. Oh. I'll make you suffer nice and slow before I kill you. <laughs> what an idiot! He should know that there's no escaping me. Just one more, and my revenge will be complete, and then my curse will be lifted. Well, we know the truth now. You guys are all psychos. Huh? I... That's right. Yasunori. You liars. You said to let you handle it. You said you'd save Hidefumi. Puncher. Punch her. So why did he have to die? I've had enough of this. All of it. You all deserve to die. 
You! Subaru! Everyone! What a selfish bitch. I, I never got a chance to tell him. But you love him? Let us go after Yasunori. Can, can we at least punch her first? Could all. My god. What, what is this? I want to go back and punch her. <laughs> <I know. laughs> god, everybody's freaking psychos in this school, aren't they? Why? Why? <laughs> like. They go after them as we catch we walk. My authority lets me picture the future I want, and if it is possible, shows me fragments of the optimal path. When I was looking for a way to defeat Subaru, I saw you. However, I could never see a future in which Hidefumi could be saved. I knew he would die. Yasunori oh. as well. No matter what happens, he will always be killed. That is what I tried to tell you. I'm sorry. I am only making excuses. It lessens my guilt if I rationalize it as an unavoidable fate. Seeing others get hurt is very painful. I I'm saying being empathetic, but to the point where I I well, yeah. Like, like I said, I think this is the first time I ever feel conflicted. In like a game like this, or the reasons behind all this, because it is there is a conflicted feeling. Because in a way, they're all murderers. They kind of deserve what is happening to them right now. But at the same time, he killed innocents because they were trying to escape the building. And plus, he went after the people who were again innocent. They were trying to help him, like that one chick who said, "Well, I told the teacher," and he denied it. So yeah. So yeah, yeah. Like I said, this this is really conflicted. Or yeah, they deserve it. But they now we know what truly happened. They actually shove him out the window to try. Like I said, I don't know if he's truly murdered because again, I think his body's in that bed. But they did try to murder her, at, murder him at the end, which is really messed up. I should have told you about this earlier. You would have yeah. been able to steal your heart, at the very least. But, I couldn't. I'm just, part, part of me is glad the dude got stabbed. Well, not stabbed, but at least died, because he did deserve it. He was a prick throughout the whole time, like, he did not have no fimble or anything of humble attitude to us. Not, not, well, I shouldn't say to us, but just a humble attitude to begin with, like, oh, well, it is, it is our fault. You know, like, not, not, no type of attitude like that where he's... And say that he was just pushing blame on the dude because he was different. So, I, again, I can understand the revenge. And thing again is they tried to murder him or succeeded one way or another. I was afraid of hurting you. Of making you hate me. Don't worry. I already hate myself. I am dishonest and lazy. <laughs> In my fear of getting hurt, I end up hurting others instead. When you say dishonest, does that mean we are going to have to fight you? I say you are a good person. No, I'm not. I only wish I was. But thank you. Your words are very kind. I will give this everything I have. Alright. Oh. Uh. Oh, let's see. This is another custom. I don't want to see it. Sit. No. Alright. Then this is where I'm going to end it. Um, what an interesting tale. And I'm not going to lie. Oh my god. I like this act better than the last act. Or the prologue. At least. The characters weren't that flat. I would say. <laughs> At least this time. Except for the bullies. Yeah, the bullies kind of deserved it. After they tried to murder the dude. But anyways, like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.